call a public hearing at this time. We do have four items under our public hearings tonight. Our first item under our public hearing is for ordinance number 2020-14. Mr. Stokes. Ordinance number 2020-14, ordinance to approve the 2021 fiscal year budget for the city of Fort Oakthorpe, whereas the duly elected governing authority of the city of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia is authorized under Article 9, Section 2, Paragraph three of the Constitution of the State of Georgia, the official code of Georgia annotated 36353 and the charter of the city of Port Oakport, Georgia to adopt reasonable ordinances to protect and improve the public health, safety and welfare of the citizens of the city of Port Oakport, Georgia. It is hereby named by the governing authority of the city of Port Oakport that the following shall constitute the fiscal year 2021 budget. This ordinance shall take effect on January 1st, 2021, first reading 12th day of October, 2020, second reading 26th day of October, 2020, with a public hearing, third and final reading this 26th day of October to, no, I'm sorry, November 9th. November 9th. Uh, is there anyone here that like, would like to speak either in opposition of are in favor of or have any input to the 2021 physical year city of Port Oakthorpe budget. Mayor, it doesn't appear that anyone's present with any input to the budget. Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. Item number two under our public hearing tonight is for ordinance number 2020-11. Mr. Stoltz. Ordinance number 2020-11, variance, be it ordained by the Mayor and Council of the City of Port Oakville, Georgia, and is hereby ordained by authority thereof that the following property owned by HTH Development LLC and known as MAP 0010-0013-019 and 0010-03333-53, 41 total lots, country code subdivision, Rossville, Georgia, 3741, is hereby granted a rear setback variance from the 30 to 20, from 30 to 25 feet. Is there anyone here who would like to speak either in opposition or in favor of this variance? Yes, sir. You would come sign your name, please, sir. And come here? sign your name, okay. please. And then state your name when you go to the podium for the record. My name is Justin Hunt. I'm one of the owners of HTH Development. Uh, I think it's kind of clear what we want. Just make sure y'all didn't have any questions. Uh, the, the main reason for it is uh, with my lots over there now, I'm only able to get about an 1,800 square foot single story house. Uh, if I can get that extra five foot, I can get those single stories up to about 1,900. And uh, looks like there's a big market for that over there. Everything we've done pretty well so far. So that's the, that's the reason for the five foot. Thank you. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Anyone else in regard to this particular ordinance, either in favor of or in opposition of granting the variance? Mayor, it appears that no one else is present for that particular ordinance. Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. Item number three under our public hearings tonight is for ordinance number 2020 dash 12. Mr. Stoltz. 12 was the, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Ordinance number 2020-12, Certificate of Appropriateness, be it ordained by the Mayor and Council of the City of Port Oakport, Georgia, and is hereby ordained by authority thereof that the following property owned by Daniel Lee and known as MAP 00031015103 Barnhart Circle, Port Oakport, Georgia, is hereby granted a Certificate of Appropriateness approval to extend the dumpster pad by 10 feet. Is there anyone here that would like to speak either in favor of or in opposition of this certificate of appropriateness? Mr. Mayor, doesn't appear anyone's present to 
this they either in favor of or in opposition of this particular certificate of appropriate. Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. Our final item under public notice tonight is for ordinance number 2020-13. Mr. Stoltz. Ordinance number 2020-13, zoning ordinance be it ordained by the mayor and council of the city of Port Oakland, Georgia, and is hereby ordained by authority thereof, section one, that the following property owned by David Kelly and Patricia Kelly and known as MAP 0003B01319, Battlefield Parkway, Port Oakland, Georgia, 30742 is hereby granted a C2 commercial, general commercial zoning. Is there anyone here that would like to speak either in favor of or in opposition of this ordinance? Yes, sir. if you would come up and sign in. That's fine. And if you would state your name. Good evening, gentlemen and ladies. Thank you. My name is Larry Bielski with Architects Construction Group, and we are requesting the zoning to be changed on this property from I-1 to C-2. This property is the tobacco shop and the small office on Alamar Street at the corner, right in front of the Waffle House. And the plans are to uh, the Kellys are going to sell that property to the current lessees. They already have their purchase agreement and are ready to purchase. And the intention is, is to demolish those buildings and build a new convenience store, uh, a nice one. And um, that's the purpose of the rezoning. I met with uh, Rick Corals once or twice about this because the current zoning is I-1. And under I-1, your setbacks put the build put the you can't you can't build a building with the current setbacks and none of the properties in that entire area even though they're all zoned i1 none of them meet the i1 setbacks so he felt it was probably best to just properly zone it uh, rezone it to a c2 then the setbacks get more reasonable to deal with regarding the variances that we requested um, so that was the purpose of the rezoning and we additionally did ask for some variances, but they're not on the agenda. And the planning board, zoning board, did approve those, so I'm not sure where that's at. <coughs> so it changed. <coughs> you went back to the zoning board from five to ten, or something like that, when they approved. Oh yes, sir. Yeah. So it is ten. It's ten. That we had five. We went to ten. We had. 25, uh, 14, and we went to 25 on the front. Okay. Right. Yes, Just correct. Sure. And the convenience store, it, did I read it right that it'll have gas pumps? And yes, okay. sir. Gas pumps, it'll have some food service, a drive through in the back. Be a lot nicer than what's there now. Oh, yeah. Do that. Yeah, it'll, it'll have brick and brick or stone. <clears throat> it'll, be, it'll be a nice, you know, the competition of convenience stores now that just like hotels you got to do something better so they're going to do something nice do you have any other questions no, thank you thank you thank you <coughs> is there anyone else who would like to be either in opposition of or in favor of this zone ordinance mayor it doesn't appear anyone else is present that concludes our public hearings. Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. This time we will call a regularly scheduled council meeting to order. Ms. James, if you would do the invocation. Mr. Child, lead us in the pledge. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for giving us another day so we can be here. We pray that you be with all the citizens of Fort Oglethorpe and especially the employees and keep them safe from any harm. Lord, we pray for this <clears throat> council that we seek your guidance for wisdom, and we pray for our country. We pray these things in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of, of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, 
one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Stokes, if you would, would you call the roll, please? Yes, sir, I sure will. Mayor Earl Gray. Here. Jim Childs, Councilman. Here. Greg Crawford, Councilman. Here. Council Lady Paula Stinney. Here. Council Lady Mayor, Mayor Pro Tim Rhonda Jones. Here. Mayor. Do have a I don't think you got me. Mr. Rogers is here also. Oh, we've got to get Mr. I'm sorry. Dick Rogers, Councilman. Here. You missed him last time. So you thought he was still gone. <laughs> I thought he was still gone. <laughs> he's so little, he's hard to see. <laughs> Next item is to set the agenda for tonight's meeting. We do need to add executive session to discuss real estate to the agenda. It will be between the mayor and council comments and the adjournment. I have a motion. Is there any other? Ms. Sheen, do you have any other changes, deletions? No, Mr. Mayor. I have a motion to set the agenda. Motion. Second, sir. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 The agenda is set. Next item on the agenda is the reading of the minutes of the previous council meeting. If members of council have had an opportunity to review the minutes from October 12th meeting, I will entertain a motion to approve. Make a motion. Second. Have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimous. Next item on the agenda is a proclamation. Ms. Bennett, I guess you have this. Yes, sir. This is the yearly requirement for Tree City USA, which we receive several thousand dollars per year through grants. This does come from the office of the mayor for the city of Fort Oglethorpe, Georgia. This is the proclamation, Tree City USA, Arbor Day 2020. Whereas the first Arbor Day was celebrated in 1872 as a special day for planting trees and has grown to thousands of celebrations, and communities across our nation and throughout the world each year. And whereas community partners, families, and friends will be joined together at a local Arbor Day ceremony each year to celebrate the city of Fort Oglethorpe becoming a tree city, USA, and to recognize the benefits of trees and urban forest. And whereas trees improve public health, air, and water quality, reduce the erosion of precious topsoil, increase property values, and economic vitality in business areas, increase energy efficiency through shade, habitat for wildlife, and beauty to communities, and whereas trees promote human, physical, and mental health and well-being, create healthier environments for children to live, study and play, and encourage social interaction in a peaceful atmosphere, and whereas all of Georgians benefit from urban and community forestry, which contribute $4 billion annually to the Peach State's economy and provides employment for more than 46,000 people. And whereas Brian P. Kemp, governor of the state of Georgia, proclaimed an Arbor Day in Georgia and encouraged our citizens to plant trees, thus leaving a legacy for present and future generations now. Therefore, he, Earl Gray, mayor of the city of Fort Oglethorpe, do hereby proclaim an Arbor Day celebration that was held on October 10th, 2020, in the city of Fort Oglethorpe at Honor Park, a tribute to those who serve. Sir? Have a motion to approve. Make motion. a motion. Second. second. Have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 <coughs> motion carries unanimous. Next item on the agenda is appearances. Ms. Hume, do you have something you want to read under the appearances? Yes, Mr. Mayor. Um, I have a letter from Ms. Presta Seegers, uh, and I'll read that now. October 19, 2020. To Mayor and City Council of the City of Fort Oglethorpe, Georgia. My name is Presta Seegers. I reside at 1507 Cannon Drive, Fort Oglethorpe, directly behind the loading unloading dock for tractor supply. My husband and I have resided at our present address for 43 years and have been residents of the city for over 58 years. Nearly every Tuesday morning beginning at 5 a.m., the employers of tractors, excuse me, the employees of tractor supply will start noisily unloading via forklift inbound freight deliveries. The noise from these unloadings and the related bright lights of the forklift awakens us from our sleep. 
After we are awakened in this manner, we are unable to go back to sleep since the unloading process takes from between one hour to two hours to complete. This results in our being sleep deprived all day Tuesday. To our knowledge, Tractor Supply is the only retailer in the complex that receives ships at this time of day. As an example, we routinely see Hamrick's trucks waiting in the area between Tractor Supply's loading and the Hamrick's loading dock till 7 a.m. Thus, Hamrick's does not appear to load or unload trucks till 7 a.m. I request that the Council of the City of Fort Oglethorpe draft and pass an ordinance that prohibits between the hours of 10 p.m. through 7 a.m. the loading and or unloading of commercial trucks where the retail establishment is contiguous to a single family residential property. Sincerely, Presta Seegers. Thank you, Ms. Hume. I do believe we already have an ordinance. I'm not for sure what the hours are without getting it and reviewing it. We, we do not have an ordinance that covers those hours. The police department did look into this. Chief Helton did look into it along with um, Rick Quarles in the building department. There is not one that uh, covers these, this specific time about how early you can load or unload or receive deliveries. Okay. We certainly will look into it. Next item on the agenda is city manager report. Ms. Hume. Yes, Mr. Mayor and Council. I just have one thing. When we last met, the census was still ongoing, and now it has ended on October 16th. Um, just wanted to give you guys a quick report. We were, uh, the city of Fort Oglethorpe was 68 in terms of response, of self-response um, in Georgia, 68 overall. Um, with a total response rate of 67.8% in Fort Oglethorpe, and then Catoosa County was 13th overall in Georgia with a self-response rate of 70.6%. And that is all for me tonight. Thank you, Ms. Hughes. Next item on the agenda is ordinances. Ordinance number one is the third and final reading for ordinance number 2020-11. Mr. Stoke. Ordinance number 2011 variance be it ordained by the mayor and council of the city of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia, and is hereby ordained by authority thereof, section one, that the following property owned by HTH Development, LLC, and shown as map 0010 forward slash 001 through 19 and 0010 forward slash 33 through 53, a total of 41 lots, country club, club code, Subdivision Rossville, Georgia 30741 is hereby granted a rear setback variance from 30 to 25 feet. Said property is, is particularly described as follows in Exhibit A attached to this ordinance. Section 2 If any part of this ordinance shall be held to be invalid or unconstitutional, such invalidity or unconstitutionality shall not affect or impair other parts of this ordinance unless it clearly appears that such other parts are wholly and necessarily dependent upon the part held to be invalid or unconstitutional. Section three, that this ordinance shall take effect from and after its adoption of the mayor and council, first reading 28th day of September, 2020, second reading 12th day of October, 2020, third reading 26th day of October, 2020. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Stokes. I have a motion to approve. Motion. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Mr. Rogers. Yes. Mr. Crawford. Yes. Mr. Child. Yes. Ms. Stennett. Yes. Ms. James. Yes. Motion carries unanimous. Item number two under ordinances is the third and final reading for ordinance number 2020-12. Mr. Stoke. Ordinance number 2020-12, certificate of appropriateness be it ordained by the mayor and council of the city of Fort Oakthorpe, and it is hereby ordained by authority thereof. Section one, that the following property owned by Daniel Leake and known as MAP 00031015103 Barnard Circle, Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia 30742 is hereby granted a certificate of appropriateness approval to extend the dumpster pad by 10 feet. Said properly, the property is particularly described in Exhibit A attached to this ordinance. Section 2, if any part of this ordinance shall be held to be invalid or unconstitutional, such invalidity or unconstitutionality shall not affect or impair other parts of this ordinance unless it 
clearly appears that such other parts are wholly and necessarily dependent upon the part held to be invalid or unconstitutional. Section 3, that this ordinance shall take effect from and after its adoption by the Mayor and Council. First reading, 28th day of September 2020. Second reading, 12th day of October 2020. Third reading, 26th day of October 2020. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. I have a motion to approve. Motion. Do I have a second? Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Ms. James? Yes. Ms. Stinney? Yes. Mr. Child? Yes. Mr. Crawford? Yes. Mr. Rogers? Yes. Motion carries unanimous. Item number three under ordinances, third and final reading of ordinance number 2020-13. Mr. Stoltz. Ordinance number 2020-13, zoning amendment, be it ordained by the Mayor and Council of the City of Fort Worth, Georgia, and it is hereby ordained by authority thereof, section one, that the following property owned by David Kelly and Patricia Kelly and known as MAP 0003B013915 Battlefield Parkway, Fort Oak Thorpe, Georgia 30742 is hereby granted a C2 general commercial zoning. Said property is particularly described in Exhibit A attached to this ordinance. Section 2, if any part of this ordinance shall be held to be invalid or unconstitutional, such invalidity or unconstitutionality shall not affect or impair other parts of this ordinance unless it clearly appears that the other parts are wholly and necessarily dependent upon the part held to be invalid or unconstitutional. Section 3, that this ordinance shall take effect from and after its adoption by the Mayor and Council. First reading, 28th day of September, 2020. Second reading, 12th day of October, 2020. Third reading, 26th day of October, 2020. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. I have a motion to approve. Make a motion. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Mr. Crawford. Yes. Ms. James. Yes. Ms. Stinney. Yes. Mr. Rogers. Yes. Mr. Child. Yes. Motion carries unanimous. Item number four under ordinances is the second reading of ordinance number 2020-14. Mr. Stoke. Ordinance number 2020-14, ordinance to approve the 2021 fiscal year budget for the city of Fort Oakthorpe. Whereas the duly elected governing authority of the city of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia is authorized under Article 9, Section 2, Paragraph 3 of the Constitution of the State of Georgia, the official code of Georgia annotated 363 and the charter of the city of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia to adopt reasonable ordinances to protect and improve the public health, safety, and welfare of the citizens of the city of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia. And whereas the duly elected governing authority of the city of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia, is vested in the city council composed of a mayor and five council members and whereas that all ordinances and parts of ordinance in conflict here are here with are hereby repealed and whereas that if any part of this ordinance shall be invalid or unconstitutional such invalidity or unconstitutionality shall not affect and impair other parts of this ordinance unless it clearly appears that such other parts are wholly and necessarily dependent upon the part held to be invalid or unconstitutional now, therefore, be it ordained by the governing authority of the city of Fort Oakthorpe that the following shall constitute the fiscal year 2021 board budget. This ordinance shall take effect on January 1st, 2020. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. Next item on the agenda tonight is new business. Item number one under new business, proposed approval for 2021 dental vision, life, and long-term disability insurance. Ms. Trevee. Okay, we're requesting to renew the city's dental vision and life insurance with Guardian Insurance and to renew the, um, renew the city's long-term disability with Mutual of Omaha. And this year we've worked with our brokers, Russ Blakely and Associates, and we're able to get a flat renewal on all these products. And first time in many, many years. <laughs> and also, um, Guardian, in an effort to help companies during the COVID pandemic, is offering either a rate guarantee for 2022 or a credit for one month's worth of premium. And we're recommending that we go with the rate, um, 
with a rate guarantee for 2022 and then renew these products. Thank you, Mr. Pavilion. I have the motion to approve. So moved, sir. Second. I have a second. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimous. Item number two under new business, proposed approval for alcohol license. Mr. Stoltz. Your Honor, this, Mayor, this appears to be a alcohol beverage license application for Logan's Roadhouse LLC. As you're aware, Logan's has closed and uh, Logan's Roadhouse LLC is now uh, requesting the license application, the licensing. The background has been provided and we would recommend approval. Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. I have a motion to approve. Motion. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimous. Item number three under new business proposed approval of Lafayette Road Water Project summary change order. Mr. Johnson. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, this uh, item is a change order, the final change order for the construction project. Um, it kind of it summarizes the final quantities, and it's an actual reduction of one hundred sixty-nine thousand nine hundred forty-one dollars and fifty-seven cents. Uh, the way the um, construction timed with the streetscape project we were able to pull all the temporary paving out and uh, also we modified some of the <coughs> services to some of the buildings and got some cost savings there so the uh, the new contract amount will be uh, one million two hundred nineteen thousand ninety five dollars and thirty one cents some of this went toward the street paving. Like yeah the paving was done in the streetscape yeah awesome Thank you, gentlemen. I have a motion to approve. Motion. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Save that money. Mm -hmm. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimous. Item number four under new business proposed approval of contract modification for phase three of Highway 41 sewer project. Mr. Johnson. This has somewhat of a story behind it I'm going to let Mr. Schofield give the, the background yeah this is actually the uh, the first task order that we put together at the beginning of the year when uh, when we got our task order to do construction services for phase four phase three which we got permitted at the same time was kind of going to go on the shelf and then Phil wanted to bid out phase three and phase four together we got another task order to combine the two but it was only for bidding services so we bid it out and then we did some design modifications to be able to get three and four within the budgeted amount that, that you guys had looked at and um, and so it, i guess it just fell through the cracks this task order has been around for a while it's basically for the construction services for phase three which are actually under construction right now <clears throat> I have a motion to approve. Make a second. Have a motion and a second. Any discussion? I think where it got confused was we pretty much combined it with four. Yeah, when we bid and it, we yes, kind of assumed when we done four we had, but we never did actually detail it like this. I don't think there's any surprises in it. I think it's all stuff that you, you are all aware of and we all approve. Isn't that correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries unanimous. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Next item is under new business is item number five, proposed approval to purchase aluminum bleachers for baseball field. Mr. Simpson. Thank you, Mayor, Council. Thank you for having me. Um, the Parks and Rec Department requests approval to purchase two sets of 15-foot aluminum bleachers from BSN Sports. 
uh, in the amount of $7,397.63. These bleachers will be placed on field four at the city's baseball softball complex. So enclosed in your agenda, you've just got a few pictures of the condition of our current bleachers. So uh, those uh, can be demolished and disposed of by Public Works. I've confirmed that with uh, Mr. Long. Take a couple of weeks uh, without any interruption to, to get that done. We're at the end of our baseball softball fall season, so uh, timing will be good to do that. Um, yeah, they'll go on field four, and um, uh, the new bleachers will be the same size and same seating capacity as the other four fields there at the park. And uh, for any type of special events that we have conducted on field four, we can move those bleachers in from the other four fields if needed. Uh, Thank you. Excuse me. Quotes were solicited from three vendors and BSN Sports offering the lowest responsive and responsible quote based on the specification. Thank you, Mr. Sampson. I have a motion to approve. Make a motion. Have a second. second. Have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimous. Thank you. Item number six under new business. Proposed approval to surplus and to sell miscellaneous items. Miss Hugh. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor and Council. Uh, so we have a lot of uh, unused furniture that we sort of inherited when we bought this building. Um, it's time now to declare it surplus, get it sold, and get it out of here, and clear up some space for us. So we would like to do that. Uh, the items include but are not limited to office furniture, furnishings, office equipment, supplies, and appliances. All these items will be placed on gut deals and sold in an online bidding process. And when sold, the funds will be deposited into the general fund. Thank you, Ms. Hume. I have a motion to approve. Motion. Second, sir. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? The reason this is listed as miscellaneous items, I know that's kind of unusual, but I asked Ms. Hume to put it on there as miscellaneous items because it's just a little bit of everything, to be honest with you guys. <laughs> and, and it's stuff that is just sitting in storage that this city will never use. A lot of it are the chairs that come out of this council room that we have replaced with the new. Uh, some of the furniture that's back there is the furniture that was put in this building when it was built. Some of it's falling apart. But at any rate, it needs to go away. And I know it's kind of unusual for miscellaneous, miscellaneous items to be put on anything, but to go down and describe each one of those copy machines from the 70s and computers from the 80s would be a pretty long list. So if any of council member, we've got it all, I would say organized, but it's impossible to organize it. But we do have it all piled up to where if any of it does sell on this gov deal, to where we can get it out and get it to the people that come and get it. But I, I hate to put anything as miscellaneous items describing a lot of things without describing each particular item. But if you guys haven't seen it, if you want to walk back there and look at it after this meeting, you'll see why we put it on there as miscellaneous items. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 <coughs> Motion carries unanimous. Next item on the agenda is mayor and council comments. I don't have anything tonight other than this is the final week of early voting. Please, 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 people, go vote. Mr. Child. If you don't vote this week, make sure you vote next Tuesday, big election, and also daylight saving time is Saturday night. That's it, Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Child. Mr. Crawford? Uh, I'd like to turn my time over to uh, uh, Mr. Simpson, if he's still here. And just uh, explain with basketball season getting started, just take a few minutes, if you don't mind, just to explain about the sign-ups and where they can go to and everything with, with I know, there and y'all have tr kind of started changing some things around so and the prices and stuff yeah uh, <clears throat> currently our online signups are available we're still for one more season going to utilize the uh, lforec.org website for online we'll have a few um, in-person signups as well um, through the middle of excuse me through the middle of november 
Um, our sign-up fees from last year to this year are probably cut in half. Very reasonable. It's fifty dollars uh, for most age groups, and some of the younger ones are twenty-five. So nowadays, it's extremely reasonable for for parents to want to come play youth sports through through our city. Um, and then you know we'll uh, get to the point where. Uh, around Thanksgiving thereafter, we'll start practicing games and so forth, and we're going seven days a week in that gym. So, yep. perfect. Okay. Thank you. That's it, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Crawford. Mr. Rogers. Yeah, I'd say take advantage of that basketball. It's incredible down there during basketball season for all the parents out there and the grandparents. It's really exciting to see that gym getting used as much as it has. Uh, as much as it has gotten used, so it's exciting. That's Thank it, Mr. Mayor. Rogers, Ms. James. I don't have anything to that. Thank you, Ms. James. Ms. Dennett. Yes, sir. I just want to take opportunity to remind everyone about the Halloween Spooktacular at Honor Park, a tribute to those who serve, 5 p.m. till 8 p.m. this Saturday, Halloween night, October 31st. Hope to see everyone there. Thank you, Ms. Stinnett. Next item on the agenda is executive session. I will entertain a motion to go to executive session. Make a motion. I have a second. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 This council is in executive session. I'll entertain a motion to come out of executive session. Motion. I have a motion to have a second. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 This council is out of executive session. In executive session, we discuss real estate. Final item on our agenda tonight is adjournment. I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Make a motion. Second. Have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 This meeting is adjourned. <laughs>